So whatever shapes you actually add in over here inside of That's your it. diagram, what you can do is you can assign properties to it, which contains more data. So to do that, you can right click. And then once you go around over here, you can see edit data is an option. So if I were to go around and click on this, then here you can see that you can enter out a property name. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and say full name as the property name right here and add up the property right here. So it does not allow space. So I'm just going to go around and say full name like this and add it in. So now I'm just going to go around and say to do channel right here as the name right here. I'm going to go around add in another property and I'm just going to go around and say YouTube channel right here just like this and press apply. Once I do, th do that, what happens is that you can see that it says full name and type right here. As I hover around, you can see those details right there. And if I were to go around over here on to edit data and click on export, then you can see those details over here in code format as well and you can download it out as well. So whenever you actually go around and bring in, let's say, a template. So if I were to go around onto a, um, a range right here under the insert, if I were to go around over here onto template and then select out an organizational chart. chart right here, you can Maybe go change. around and select out any one of the shape and you can right click and then edit the data and see the default properties that are there for that particular shape as well. And that is how you can go around and then edit out the data and even export it out if you want to inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.